In this video, I'm going to show you how to add horizontal and vertical scrolling to your Figma prototype. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. This is a messages app that I'm currently designing in Figma. At the top of the page, I have the messages header, an ability to add a new message, a list of contacts, and then a list of messages. I'm going to want to include some interactivity to this prototype so it actually feels like a real application. So I'm going to want to include horizontal scrolling for the contacts and vertical scrolling for the messages. So to begin, I have all of these contacts in a group called contacts, and I have all of these messages in a group called messages. For this frame, I had clip content unselected, so you can actually see what's off the artboard, but now I'm going to reselect it. When I do so, the other content that rolls off the page seems to be invisible. If I select this group, however, you can see that there's actually the other content over here. In order to include horizontal scrolling for this context section, first I'm going to grab this group and I'm going to second click and then say frame selection. When I do, it looks like nothing has changed. So with this frame, I'm actually going to limit this frame to the actual screen size. So now I'm going to drag this frame until it hits the side of the screen. This will limit the view of the content to only be visible within this section. Next, with the frame selected, I'm going to go to prototype and then under overflow behavior, I'm going to switch it to horizontal scrolling. Then I'm going to click this present button so we can see what the prototype does. I can now scroll horizontally and see the rest of those contacts. Now we're going to follow a similar procedure for the messages area. I'm going to select the group of the messages second click, go to frame selection. Then I'm going to modify this frame to only be visible where we want it to be visible. So that'll be right above that tab bar. And then with this layer selected, I'm going to go to overflow behavior and then switch it to vertical scrolling. Then I'm going to click present again. The application refreshes, and now we're able to scroll on this area. We notice a problem, however, because there is an overlap between the messages and the contacts. So I need to modify this prototype so it only scrolls within this viewable area and it doesn't actually go above this area. So back in my prototype, I'm going to reselect this frame area and go to design. And then I'm going to click clip content. So again, clip content will restrict the content to fit within that frame. So it won't exceed that frame. So when I have that selected, I'm going to represent that prototype. And now when I scroll within this area, it limits the view to only be contained within this frame. So now we've added horizontal and vertical scrolling to our Figma prototype. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to add page scrolling to your prototype. So what if you wanted the entire page to scroll up, but leave the tab bar pinned to the bottom? I'm going to grab this messages frame and duplicate it. Next, I'm going to grab this frame and increase the height. Then I'm going to take this frame and turn it back into a group because I don't want it to only be scrollable within this area. So I'm going to do Command Shift G to basically ungroup it or unframe it. And so it reverts back to that original grouping that we had called messages. Then I'm going to take this tab bar and constrain it to the left and bottom of the page and then pin it to the bottom with the align tool. I'm actually just going to increase the height of this slightly right around there. Next, I'm going to take that tab bar and also click fix position when scrolling. So it'll basically keep that position in place as I scroll. So now let's refresh the prototype and see how it looks. 
So now we can freely scroll up and down on the whole page and the tab bar remains in the same place, but it's retained that top contact area that has the horizontal scrolling. So that's how I add horizontal and vertical scrolling to my Figma prototypes. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.